I've seen where some people, because they go ahead and put their sticks up and then come back down. Right. You do that a lot? I don't. I, I put mine up as I'm going. I hang two sticks, and then I'll hang my other sticks. I've got carabiners on my mm -hmm. belt, and I'll hang my other two sticks off myself and hang them as, I, as I'm climbing. But you can do it either way. It's like we said, we're, we're old. We're not like young <laughs> one stick guys that's going to be hanging and dangling around. So y'all be making fun of our big, heavy climbing ladder and everything else. Because we, we're going to make sure we first are safe so that we can kill a deer and not be dead. <laughs> that's, that's number one priority in our book at, at our ages. <laughs> right. Yeah, I ain't ready to die just yet. I'm yeah, we, we ain't in no hurry. <laughs> Kind of... Yeah, and you can stay behind the tree. That's what we're not used to using a climber. Is typically we're hunting in front of the tree between the deer right. and the tree. Whereas on that, when you got a deer coming, that's what I noticed about it last year. My favorite thing about it was being able to stay behind the trunk of the tree. Yeah, you can hide, and you can, with a bow. Whatever. I mean, with a bow, you've got multiple. Are no, you still using the tree? Right. To hide behind. This is breaking you up. He had other limbs break you up. If you come on around, you don't want to do whatever. A gun or a muzzleloader, even a crossbow, you know. You got, even with a with a regular saddle, they say to get a one, your weak side, some of them wrap the tether around them. Right. Hold them steady to shoot. That might be tough for this, but with a, that type of top, you can come around, you can come around the tree. Yeah, just walk it all the way around. Yeah, and this is like letting it, like laying in a recliner. Yeah. I mean, it's, you ain't got no, your knee's not on the tree. Well, and you've even got a solid back brace, which is different than a saddle. My, my saddle's got a, a top panel, yeah. but that actually has a back on it that's, oh, yeah. you got a man, it's cupped right perfect to your back. You got lumbar support even in it. Yeah, you got a headrest. You can take these top straps off, you know. Yeah, right. That frees you up more. This thing with deer hunting, this is just a key word, you know. A duck gun buck, especially, can see movement. I don't care where he's at. If yep. his dang head is not pointed at the ground, if it's level, anything to a certain extent moves, he, you know, automatically goes to it. Right. So if you're not comfortable and you're moving, you know, you're going to, at some you're going to get busted. So these things, you just kick back. You know, control your movement. You ain't doing no body movement. You know, just easing your head around with your, heart, with your face mask, you know, camo, whatever you're using. If you're in limbs and plus you're using a tree for your, you know, for cover, and it, it makes things, it's kind of a game changer stuff to me as far as this style of hunt. So, you know, I say I've never tried one of the regular saddles yet because it just, the adjustment and trying something completely opposite of what I'm used to doing, you know, even though when we was young, we was living on the edge, climbing trees, hugging the tree, we're just dragging the bottom up with your feet. Right. And without a harness. So, hey, without a lineman's belt, but still, <laughs> the, the older people were changing to something completely different, you know. Well, and the strength and balance and stuff isn't there either. Right. I mean, I, I just, I can't do what I used to be able to do. I'm not as flexible. Yeah. Everything else is just different. Balance, you know, carry yeah. the extra little wash tub on the front of you yeah, that's right once you do it and, and, and it depends on what kind of land you got even with public you can carry you can stage sticks yeah you know, right people people leave lock-ons and stuff all the time on public land you know you can you just ain't supposed to damage the tree in most places you look just loosen it up so but you can stage some of them cheaper sticks you know especially the tops yeah. leave all the top up there take your bottom couple off yeah. and in private land, if you had cutovers or, or, or anything, you could do all kind of stuff without having to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of lane lock-ons. And over time, the maintenance on lock-ons, you know, if you're not taking care of them, if you just leave them, something's going to rust, break, or something. Yeah, you know, so right. With this, you're, you're keeping it where you get took care of it. Yeah, but I'm, seriously, like Daniel's going to get it in the egg, but it's, it's, I mean, it's comfortable. It's just, I, I, I could hunt out of this thing all day. It just, yeah. you know. I don't know what to compare it to as far as this. Like I said, I've not tried a whole lot of this stuff out. So it's well worth the, the investment to me for this for if I only use it twice a year or whatever, I'm gonna be comfortable. I yeah. feel comfortable. So. If you can't sit, you can't kill. Yeah. If you can't be still, that's another thing. If you can't be still. Yeah, it may be worse than leaving. 
<laughs> All you got to do is scare them once. Yeah, scare them once. So, that's the worst part about it. You probably just fall asleep. <laughs> Slobber be run down. So. That's right. All right, we're going to let Daniel climb up this thing. Yeah, up. let me get in this thing. <laughs> I mean, this thing, this feels just like you're in a climber. <laughs> Like this, this may be more comfortable than my summit as far as that back. It is because you're reclining, you're kind of reclining more to yeah, me. You've got, and you've got some like a lumbar support. It feels like a fancy office chair <laughs> instead of a tree. You know what I mean? Instead of your back being against a tree, it's got some give to it. Like it, it feels good, man. I like that. And this bar right here hits the tree. Yeah, yeah, it's adjustable too. Yeah, and keeps you it keeps your knees off the tree. So I mean you're you're when I first saw these, I was thinking that right there would just get in the way and be almost be a problem or make a lot of noise. But there's nothing to it. You know, and you, you don't even notice it's there if you don't want to use it. Even standing up leaning, you've got so much back support that I mean that's nice. <laughs> that is really nice. And this is speaking from a man that got a regular saddle. So. Yeah, and, and a lot of climbers, you know, but this is, this, this is, to me, more comfortable than my climber. It's way more comfortable than regular saddle. But I can sit in this thing all day long. Like, this right here is nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this sucker is comfortable, you know. You don't, you don't even have to use your feet. Really impressed. It, the seat in it is just like a Millennium or like the old tree lounges. And it's got that little bit of give to it, so it, it fits your body. It's not like a right. like those sling seats or anything. Yeah, I'd get busted just up here slinging around. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you could use this just like a regular saddle too. You can use that as a rest and everything. Yeah. But you you've got so much brace in your back that it gives you something to press your shoulder blade into when you're pushing into your rifle too. Right. You know, whereas in a saddle you've got a little bit of give and play. This gives you a little bit of a, more of a two-point, you know, style rest. I mean, it's big. It, it looks bulky on the ground. It looks like a bunch of stuff. But once you get up here, I mean, it doesn't feel any different than a regular saddle. It don't feel like you've got a bunch of stuff on you. All you got in front of you is your bridge and a tether. That's cool. I like that. I don't have to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Just spend more money. It ain't that much money. I mean, I'm sure it's worth it. I ain't never been scared to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we done this. I've been wanting to try this out ever since you got it. It'd be a whole lot easier than packing in a climber. Oh yeah. And and it sits just as well. I mean, if you were gonna come out here and sit daylight to dark like we do, you could do it in there. Yeah, there's no and problem. Not have to struggle, you know, not have to be completely miserable. I sat in my saddle one day last year for seven hours, the longest I've sat at one time and it was it was reasonably comfortable to be a saddle but like i said it is a big saddle it's a two panel saddle and i mean it was it did the job for seven hours but it was not like sitting in this you know and i mean i don't know if i could sit in it any longer about seven hours the time i come down i was about ready to come down but well, seven hours for most people is twice as long as most people most hunt people hunt about four maybe yeah. you know so. Um, so i mean i like i like to sit all day long just because it's so far to get in here. I mean, you can't, you ain't got time to come in and out. Really. Right. And when you're comfortable like that, you don't really want to come out because you, I mean, the chance no. you, you could miss something, you know? Yeah, right. The, the longer you stay in the tree, the more chance for opportunity at shooting something. So. Yeah, exactly. You ain't gonna shoot them in the truck. No. Or at home, so, yeah. so if you're comfortable and feel good about using something like that. I mean, you you just feel like spending more time in the woods. Right. So. You ready to go do some scouting? I'm ready. Good unless unless you want to take you a nap up there or something, you know. I could stay here and wait on you. See, you just tell me what you find. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna weigh myself on here. We're gonna see how much this stand weighs. To start out with two oh seven. Twenty-three. Sixteen so pounds. Sixteen pounds. And that's where the head rests, two pouches, and your uh, lineman's belt. Yeah. 
That's with, so. that's with everything except sticks, right. whatever you or whatever you're gonna climb with. Yeah. And uh, I mean, in comparison, you've got like my mini Viper is 18 pounds. Naked. But naked. But yeah. this right here, the difference is the distance from your back. The weight is here. Is what it feels like. It feels like there's more weight in this plastic than there is on this back piece because there's there's no there's no backwards pulling like on my back at all. Right. But you can see the contour of the back part of this right here is shaped just like your back. And it's got a mesh in there like trampoline material so it you can't feel it on your spine. I mean it right. actually gives you lumbar support even to my lower back. Right. You know, and I don't even have a belt on or anything. If you attach. Yeah, as you walk in. If you're walking in, you're gonna have this on and you got a chest strap like on a backpack. And you, you can snug everything up however you want it, but but even this belt, I mean that holds there again, holds weight up off your back. You know, I mean you can I could loosen these straps up just about. Let me see. Right. I mean it's just sitting right there on top of my butt. It ain't there's no weight on your back. It's not even pulling on you. But once you tighten it up, man, it gives you so much back support. I mean, it's even comfortable. It's more comfortable wearing it than without it. And if you're going to do a lot of walking, it, it does not feel like it's 16 pounds. I mean, the, the, the weight of this stand compared to the weight distribution on a climber is completely opposite. I guess if you had sticks, you could strap your sticks to the back or to the sides, I guess, however you wanted to. Right. Yeah, you got the straps on the back. Like I carried it in by strapping through here. However you want to do it. You, you got some other accessory straps you can strap your sticks, but I just laid them across there. So, and it worked pretty good. So anything else you want to put in there, you, you, you tuck it in, your lineman's belt's tucked in there. So whenever you get to the tree, you're gonna take it off and lower them straps down. Cause these straps right here are actually your leg straps. They're just holding this seat up while you're walking in. So. Once we get over here to the telephone pole, we're gonna show how that how that kind of works and to take it off and then we're gonna put on the pole and show you how this fork. So this fork, I've already got it pre-adjusted. That's just me because I like it right there. And we're gonna show how that works on the pole. All right, this is one cool thing is this this tether. It's pretty unique. Is they got a ball on here. Once you put it through the tree, you just tighten that ball up and it stays where it's at. And you've got the little present knot there of course it's adjustable but that's a that's a cool safety line you know it's specific for jx3 i guess that's the only place i've seen that like that with that ball there so that's a pretty neat feature and i guess you could change this out with that ropeman thing i haven't got one of them yet to try out but this right here still works pretty good it slides up and down good so you don't have no issue but you can tighten that ball up and it's there so Pretty neat. That's a pretty neat feature with that. So. so when you're walking, you've got these straps you say stay attached. That's what holds that's what holds the back us. up. Right. These straps hold that back the seat part up. Right. So you get to your tree, you got right. everything on, you take this off, right. correct? And then these are your leg straps? That's the leg straps. You just want to drop so them off. You want to attach those. Yeah. You know, make sure your lineman belt is out because you got that tucked. You'll make sure that part is out. Right. Okay. So, and then this yeah. will stay hooked. That's right. It'll stay hooked on there like that. Top of that hook right mm -hmm. there on the back. You climb with it like that. So you go ahead and put it on. We're going over overall training with Daniel. He just he's, he's green just like me. I ain't, I've done it a few times, but I ain't never wore one of these things before. So <laughs> we climbed up in the woods with it, but a little different than my regular saddle. So I'm at a little learning curve here. Yeah, everything right, you try so you new, that's your bridge there. You don't put it on yet until you get ready okay. for it. So you just let it hang. And then your leg straps. Leg straps are hanging down between your legs. You just reach between your legs, grab one. They'll come up right here. Go up there to that clip, insert. Just like that. On in. So now you're ready to climb. You know. All right, so 
your bridge, like you're gonna, where well, you're gonna use your lineman's belt if you were climbing, right? And get up the tree. And then once you get to where you're wanting to go, right? And I like putting that pretty high. It's kind of yeah, I'm the same way. I, I leave mine a lot higher than most people, but I'm just more comfortable that way for whatever reason. I'm assuming we're not going to have to use the lineman's belt. No. So let the let the seat down first. Seat lets down first. Yeah, let pick the seat up. Just pick, pick straight up, up. Let it push out a little bit. Let that okay. down. Hey. Okay. Now you do your bridge. Pull that cross, and it should be a a hash. There you go. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, right there, and that okay. automatically pulls that yeah. up. You automatically hook that, get that kind of adjusted, and you just start sitting back. <laughs> and it just, it just takes the shape of your body. That's all it does. Is that telephone hey. pole gonna make a little noise? But... It didn't make any noise on the tree. No, nah, it won't make any noise on the tree. That yeah. pole was hard as a rock. Yeah, when we was on the tree, it, it really surprised me how little noise yeah, there just, wasn't any, really. Yeah, that fork would just dig into the bark. So just weird. It seems like you have to pull that seat up, but you don't. No, nah, you don't have I mean, to do anything. Just sit down. You lean into it, and it just, it just turns into a seat. Yeah. You can see how that fork, you know, that fork is just however you want it. I got it adjusted out because I don't want my knees up against the tree. Yeah, I want you can, a little bit of space. Yeah, you're going to do this knob and it slides in and out. gives right. you different distance from the tree or, right. or into the tree. But, yeah. I mean, man, that, like the, the seat is trampoline material. Right. It's just like a, either if you're used to the old tree lounges or the... Uh, some of your, What's the uh, other ones? Some of the gorilla stands had that in there. Then now the uh, Millenniums. Millenniums have yeah. that. So. Yeah, the Millenniums, the same stuff. And the back, the whole back is made out of that too. Right. It's got a frame got a, like similar a polymer, to a polymer frame. Yeah, kind of like an office chair. But your back is actually against that trampoline material that gives. It doesn't, there's nothing hard touching your back. That to me is is one of the most comfortable things about this whole stand. This is more comfortable than a climber. Oh yeah, most climbers, like, yes. By by far, to me, this this seat is more comfortable than sitting in a like a summit or something against the tree. I mean, it's just extremely comfortable. Plus, you got, yeah. I mean, you, you can recline a little bit if you want to. Yeah. And once you get situated, you can take them sh shoulder straps loose. Yeah, you can off. actually. Yeah, just take them off. Yeah. And these like these pouches come off too. So I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't want these here. These are an accessory. Yeah, you can move them you know, down. You can move to, them and hang them to the sides right here. Yeah, you can hang them off your waist. Yeah. Hang them, you know, wherever you wanted them or whatever. Right. Yeah, all you really got to do is grab these. Just loosen Relax that, that up. Yeah, you can just loosen that up, slip right out of it. Yeah, yeah, it gives you more freedom. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, man. Like I, I just. I'm just really impressed with with how comfortable it is, but how light how light it feels like carrying it because it, it looks bulky. You know what I mean? It looks like you'd be like carrying a climber wouldn't be no different, but, <laughs> but it's not. But even the weight on it, the thing doesn't weigh like it. I mean, it doesn't carry like it weighs ten pounds. Mm -hmm. But that's one thing right there that I like about this as opposed to a regular saddle. Yeah. No strictly, I mean, you can adjust it however you want to, just. And even without the straps on or anything, I mean, you can, I mean, you could really sit here all day. If you had some, even some foot platforms or a, not platforms, but like a screw in step or a strap on step or whatever you needed, even to have just a place to put your feet on top of your, right. on so, top of your sticks. Well, if you're on the side of your sticks or whatever, I mean, it could be, how you how you got your stick position or how you set up on the side of the sticks to where you want your feet i mean right. a ring of steps would work good on this thing too yeah it wouldn't be like in a saddle on a regular saddle ring of steps some people like but you it's a lot of pressure on your feet if you're doing a lot of standing or leaning whereas in this i mean all your pressure you're just sitting in a seat so you're not 
you don't have pressure on your feet or legs. So I think that if you had a ring of steps, it'd just give you somewhere to rest your feet so that they wasn't just dangling, just hanging. You can even put them up high like that. I mean, if you put them up a little bit high, you could use your knee as a gun rest. Right. <laughs> you know, because in this you're sitting. Right. But you can use, I mean, you use a bridge just like you would, you know, a regular saddle. You got an adjustable headrest back there. That's oh, optional. Yeah, yeah show yeah. that. So you can adjust that. And you can reach back there and pull that, that up. Pull up. Yeah, it just slides up. It slides up, up like mm -hmm. in a vehicle. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's like I can go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, if you, if you're going to sit all day, you could, yeah. you could pull that right there up and take the tension off your neck for a little while. Yeah. That's the difference with the climber is that leaning back part. Yeah. You know, unless you're at the old style, them uh, gunslinger stand or something like that where you were facing the tree that you were kind of leaning back. And then of course the old tree lounges, you were you were leaning back, but it was a whole lot bigger, heavier. Yeah, and I guess, does this adjust that distance? Adjust, you can adjust that, yeah. So if you pull on that, it's gonna, yeah. it'll sit you up more and more and more. Right. I would have that adjusted like, probably maybe pre-climbing or something like it get that how you like it because yeah. you got to kind of to release it you just reach back there and pull them little straps right there and that would release it right so and i don't know if for anybody that's familiar with kayaks that's what this seat reminds me of is a kayak seat hmm. the the back not having anything behind it is more comfortable than a kayak seat but the way it sits the way it adjusts and everything is just like sitting in a a sit on top kayak. Man, I, I like it. I'll own one after sitting in this thing. Yeah. I'm one of them hunters that like to have multiple options. You know, I don't like being locked out in one one type of thing or one type of stand or so there's this there's plenty of options or plenty of ways you can hunt with this versus using a climber. So Yeah, well I mean even if you didn't want to sit the entire time. I mean you right. can yeah. stand it in this the way that it stays you know shaped to your body it's it's a weird feel when you first put it on because you feel like you need to pull up but it ain't it's not going anywhere right when you bend it bends right you know so you can stand up and you can you can move around the tree or you could lean you know if you just want to stand up for a while stretch and it feels like you're wearing a regular saddle it's not in your way like i said it looks big on the ground but it it wears wears light. like a saddle i mean you can't yeah you just can't really tell the difference except you got back support. I mean, even leaning in this thing, man, like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean you could not lean and go to sleep just with the headrest and everything. It's like you're laying in a, a recliner. Well, what all comes with this? Like if you, if you were to buy, order one off of your thing, for instance, like if, do you order everything separately? The headrest is an add on, them pouches are add on, but the rest of it is, is there. So. so it comes with the saddle, Comes with your tether, comes with the lineman's belt. Yeah. And your carabiners. Yep. Traps. But so. when you're up in the tree, you'll have leg straps on. Yeah. Put the shoulder straps back on if you don't have them on already. And then you'll flip your seat up. Flip it back up. And hook it. Yeah. And then you can climb down. Climb down a lot easier. Once you get down, you'll have your leg straps is what's going to hold the back. Right. Right. And you just take it off and you'll pack everything up. Put your leg straps back around the seat. Tuck your lineman's belt back in. Re reposition your pouches if you want to, if you don't want them hanging out. So, so your leg straps come up and they just attach right there, right? Yep. And then you just cinch them tight, however it is, whatever stuff you got in there. Cause you can tuck a raincoat or uh, you can tuck a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, I mean, you could, so. anything in between there. Yeah. Just like a lot of your, your big hunting packs. Yeah, I'll usually have the lineman's belt tucked in and that, your tethered strap tucked in. That way it's not hanging out. You just kind of tuck them in there before you cinch that up. And then that's, that's kind of out of the way. Right. So. I want to show everybody these seats with it off of me. As you can see, See this frame, it's a hard composite frame, but the seat, or the this is the back. Right. You can see where it's suspended. Yeah. I mean, it's a good three inches away from that. And it's already shaped like a cradle. I mean, you've got your lumbar support and it just fits your back great. 
but this right here has nothing under it. Right. And when you lean against that, you're not touching that frame. It, All just, your, forms, it, it just forms your body. Yeah. I mean, your spine, there's no pressure anywhere. And then your seat is the same exact way. All your seat has got are these nylon straps under it. And when you sit on that right there, all you can feel is that trampoline material, just like on a Millennium. Right. I'm as impressed yeah. with I'm as impressed with that, all of that aspect of this stand as I am anything. I mean, that's just that's what's important to me is comfort. I hunt a long time, and I can't I can't sit in a regular saddle for you know 12 hours. At least I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I hunted seven one day last year and it was it was long sit. It wouldn't be like sitting in this. I wasn't I wasn't comfortable as you'd say. <laughs> so what so what have you got for accessories? These right here are separate? Right, they're they you can order them separate. So it's kinda like a dump pouch, it's got a it is zippered. It's got Molly loops all over it. And a is this a bungee? Bungee, if you want to bungee it around a tree, around the limb, or different way on your pack, I guess a different way to hold it now. Tell you what I'd do. If it was me, you got to place somewhere on that belt. Do it like that right there. Do this right here. Okay. Yeah. You know, carry it on your. That way, you, when you're climbing and everything, ain't going nowhere, and all your stuff's right there on yeah. your, on your side. And that looks like a chest rig yeah chest rig with a little light milkweed multiple it's pockets got tons yeah tons of pockets more molly loops all kind of clips and everything else on it it's got a uh, magnetic i think it snaps down from the top like top? you put your phone yeah our binoculars yeah you stick yeah. your binoculars in there man it's got a phone phone holder yeah, phone holder right there i like that All magnetic. This little guy right here, we were talking about it earlier. I like this little thing. Just a little bitty tiny pouch. You open it up, it turns into this big old dump bag. <laughs> Which I mean, you know, Lord knows what you use it for, but it'll hold just about anything. What me and him was talking about, I've got a lot of packable insulation and stuff, and you could, it'll fit in that. Right. I mean, you could pack your insulation in this bag, clip it, hang it from you. When you got to where you was going to climb, you could pull it all out of here and put it on. And then this thing would just fold right up into nothing. You know, instead of having to pack everything into a big backpack, when you're carrying that right there to pack in your insulation. Yeah, that's, that's neat. I really like that right there. Backpack, you got two. Yeah, so you could, you could use it as shoulder straps. You want to attach it, you know, down here. For, yeah, the other part of it's on the ground that you can... You can set it up however you want. Yeah, because you could you can, use that. You could use that as chest pack or a backpack. Yeah, you so. can do it either way. So. Yeah, this, they've got so many, so much stuff attached. This right here, you could store stuff in between it too. To be as small as that is, you could. You put Alabama dough in there, nearly. Yeah, <laughs> just about. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Have a leg sticking up over your head. And it's got Molly loops. It's even got a strap on the inside to hold all your stuff tight. You're gonna carry it in there good accessories too it's quality yeah. stuff you can definitely tell it's nice yeah you can go on them jack3 website and just pick up they've got a multiple a variety of things that they've come up with and that's code for for any kind of you know hunting that you would need so well tell us what your uh discount code is like how somebody wants to come buy this stuff you got a yeah if you want to use my discount code it's mp22 and uh get you i don't know if this discount's five or ten percent but you're gonna be saving money regardless so but uh, we appreciate it. But that's, like we say, we've been going through this for a couple of different videos and it's, it's a real neat uh, bonus type of hunting for me as far as, because I don't like to be locked down to one type of hunting, one style. So I've got climbers, I've got lock-ons, you know, carry-in lock-ons, i got lock-ons that I'll put up, you know, kind of semi-permanent. And then this, you know, can use, a couple of things I like to use this for is one of them mainly is like for cutover hunting. 
you know, you can slip into a cutover its way back and, and climb up a tree behind the tree, facing the cutover, watching thermal hubs in the cutover, travel corridors or edges, and just be have that tree as an extra extra blockage. And another thing is that some of these food plots early season climb up in, climb up in them uh, soft tooth trees, get up in there and be situated in them limbs and stuff behind the trees and you can man maneuver yourself around with a bow in that tree on them food plots when eating them soft tooths early. So there's a lot of different functions I could use this for, you know, to go along with my style of hunting. So, and it's, it's a cool tool, I'm, you know, a cool device and a cool tool. And it's, it's just neat that the technology that people have come up with and that, you know, I wasn't ever even dreamed about anything like that. No. That's that style. The saddle things, the way they, I could see people inventing them kind of, but the way they come up with this, how they come up with that is, is very neat. So. Right. Yeah. And I mean, coming from, uh, me or him, I mean, we're, we're climber guys. You know, a lot of the guys that are saddle guys are kind of anti-climber because they're, they're heavy or they're bulky and you got people going way off back in the woods, but we're, that's what we do. I mean, we hunt out of climbers. So for a transition type stand, this is so beneficial if you're having to carry a climber. Um, if you don't mind sitting in a saddle for two or three hours at a time, I mean, that's fine too. But with something like this, if you wanted to hunt daylight to dark, You've got the comfort of a really nice climber, if not more comfortable, but you've also got the portability and just the, I mean, the ease of operation. I it just, I'm surprised at how light that 16 pounds is. Right. It's the lightest 16 pounds I've ever carried on my back. Right. That's another thing in my style of hunting and then Daniel's too is we're minimum, unless I kill a deer or something, minimum five, six hour sits. You yep. Know, that's, all right. The time. Right. I'm not going in for two hours, or whatever. So I, want, I got to be comfortable. When I'm 58 years old, overweight. So I got to have me some comfort. So yeah. And, and that comfort <laughs> in a tree and minimizing your movement, you got to be comfortable. You know, comfortable to do that. You know, deer see movement so quick. So if you're not comfortable and you're moving around, you know, trying to reposition because something's pinching the blood to your legs or whatever. You know, that, that reduces your chances of seeing a deer. So you get somewhere and get situated and it's comfortable and you're not moving, as, as, that just increases your odds. And you, know, you can stay in a tree longer and like I say, be comfortable and just not be, get home and feel like you've been run over by a truck, you know, every day. So comfort is a big plus for me. So and that's, that's as far as anything I've put on, that's the comfortest thing I've put on. Mm -hmm. you know, it's questionable whether like a summit climber a bit, but it's a different kind of comfort because your you know your different position on the tree so mm -hmm. so I, I mean i highly recommend it to anybody so try it out get you one of them that's it yeah guys if y'all want to try it out or whatever we're going to put the discount code on the screen and uh i guess you got have you got a link for it just whenever you go to to get on jx3's website whenever you check out they'll be able to say a code on there and just put mp22 and you'll get a discount so mp22 all right just simple as that just mp22 so Good deal. Well, John guys. Reed and the guys there are great guys. I've met them a couple of times. They're great guys and just, you know, they'll, they'll fix you up. So. Cool. Well, guys, appreciate y'all joining us. Michael, good to come over to the house and hey, check you. this thing out. It's cool to be able to see one in person and kind of get to mess with it, you know. Yeah. A good 90 degree day. Storms are blowing in. So. Yep, we're about to burn up, so it's time <laughs> to get back in the air conditioner. <laughs> but we got to do it training. now. We're in training mode. That's right it. Now. There ain't no time to do it during deer season. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys. Appreciate y'all joining us. We'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all take it easy. Yeah.